Okay, this is 5.5B, Cab Model Features Part 2. Starts out with three mirror activities, challenges, whatever you want to call it. This one is mirroring within a sketch, which often causes a lot of problems, as we'll see. And then it goes to mirroring a feature, which is much better, almost all the time, if not all the time. And then we go to starting this Automoblox connector piece, which we sketch a quarter of and then mirror twice in a sketch. And so we're just going to combine these all into one, because why not? So, there it is. Notice I have a 5.5 uh, project folder, because there's lots of parts in there. So new part. I'm going to take these and move them to the other side so I can see them. And then you can just trust me on them. So we are going to draw out the quarter of it and I'm just going to try to approximate how big this is and then I hopefully don't have any problems when I go and dimension it later try to get it relatively close I'm not doing any of the fillets yet of course I would normally do the fillets in 3d because like everything else things work better in 3d in inventor so I'm going to dimension things first this is 0.32 Remember, if you put a dimension on and something goes wacky, just try a different dimension somewhere else. 115. I'm going to put this guy in here so it doesn't accidentally overlap on me. Um, this is... I'm trying to put... I'm not doing any math. I'm just putting their dimensions where they put them. It makes it a lot easier for me to avoid mistakes. 39. And then I'm missing this one here. 0.22 fully constrained okay now uh, we need to do some fillets I just punched the mic I don't know if you heard that fillets you can see I don't even know where it's at because I don't use it uh, you, this one needs to be 0.1 you can either click the two sides or you can hover over it 0.05 for this guy Hover over the corner and click once. And I'm going to close that because the next one needs to be a different size, even though I could change it later. Like if I accidentally make it 0.05, I mean it's just basically putting an arc on. So just go change the dimension of the arc. So I believe that be it. So now what I'm going to do is, since we're just using these as mirror lines, we could also use the axes that go through there. Um, I'm going to change them to construction lines, which may or may not be a good idea. So what they want us to do now is mirror that a couple times and then try to extrude it. So mirror, and if you just if you don't want to select your construction lines, you can just kind of drag and then add in whatever you need. And then mirror line, they want us to mirror this way first. And it doesn't give you a preview, so hit apply. And you see how it mirrored it all. And then I'm going to do that again. Select most everything, add on these two. Mirror line, again this construction line. Apply. And we have our nice shape. Now when I try to extrude it, for some reason that bottom part never works. It never connects. And I don't know if it's somehow these arc center points throw us off but it always does that so I've tried it a bunch of different ways and got a different error every time now what you could try to do is go back into the sketch this can be helpful it just won't be here is the closed loop feature see a closed loop and it'll say go around the whole thing and click things that aren't connected so like this is all connected together and this is connected here it's going to be hard to find stuff this one here, though, that's connected to this bad part, it might give you a statement like this. And you say, do you want to combine some points? And then it gives you an error. So there's lots. that closed loop is nice, but it just doesn't work here. So here's what I suggest you do. Control Z. Undo, undo, undo. Turn those back into solid lines. Finish sketch. Extrude. I believe it's 0.412. Um, that's what I got from my other one. 
Uh, okay, and then it's much easier. This is where I would do the fillets, but you, know, you could see them over here. This is where I would mirror it. No, that's not it. That's measure. So go up to your mirror 3D feature. I want to mirror this thing, and I want to mirror it about this plane. And again, that would be one of these planes as well. Okay, and then hit mirror again. Select your features. You can select them here. It makes it like hard to click on it. You can always come over here and click here. And then again, you can click on the uh, YC plane in this case, or you could just click on the bottom of the surface. And that is much easier than doing it within the sketch. Go file, save as. Save it as 5.5B Automo Blocks Connector. You could put it in Activity 5.5 if you have that project, or you could move it into your Automo Blocks folder. And that be it.